Alright, well, what I got going on here is a simple experiment I'm running. Um, it's based off the glue cells, which contain the uh, Epsom salt and salt substitute. I've taken those two salts, if you would call them, and put them in distilled water. About 50 50. Just put it in there and mix it up. Pretty much dissolved. Um, then I made this cell that I've encapsulated in here. The reason why it's in this box is to keep the evaporation process to a minimum. Get that loose. Alright. And I made this cell, which is copper tubing and magnesium ribbon. Uh, the separator is just notebook paper. I'm just using regular old alligator clips. Yeah. And yeah. I just take this cell and just dip it in that solution. Um, then I close it off. <clears throat> I'm just running to see if a galvanic process develops. In a previous video, I showed that adding the salt substitute and Epsom salt into the water, uh, distilled water actually, um, lowered the voltage of the galvanic reaction. Uh, I found that interesting. Right now, I'm just running a simple test to see if it uh, really destroys the cell. It runs the uh, LCD clock just fine. Um, yeah, give you a little close-up shot of it. I don't think notebook paper was the best thing to use because it's very thin. I should use probably should have used paper towel, but it's carpet tubing. They wrap notebook paper around that. Then they wrap spirally um, the magnesium ribbon, and I made a cell. Dump that into the salt substitute. Epsom salt water solution right here, and encase it, and uh, encase to keep the uh, evaporation process to a minimum, and it powers the LCD clock. Uh, probably in future, I will probably be hooking uh, several of these up to power some LEDs. So yeah, stay tuned for that.